Tier 2 Minerals uh, as an exploration company, uh, we are drilling slightly different from uh, most of uh, exploration company. We use our own diamond geolics uh, drilling at a very good quality and high speed. So the first slide just shows uh, what is the diamond geolics uh, we used. And we has, have been uh, growing the resource quite rapidly uh, as well as uh, develop the project in a quite a high speed. Uh, we have a 2.2 million ounce joke resource delivered in November last year. And over the past uh, seven months, uh, we've been drilling into a new uh, 50,000 meter of uh, drilling camping for the purpose of a new resource uh, update in September this year. So, so far we are uh, working uh, slightly ahead of schedule with around 70% of the 50,000 meter finished as of today. At the same time, we are also going to complete uh, our detailed meta test study at AIRS lab in Perth uh, by next month. This is all designed and managed by independent company Minchex in Perth. We are also at the final stage of finalizing the companies to participate into our pre-feasibility study, which we are aiming to start August this year. On the corporate side, uh, our market cap uh, is around 135 million Australian dollar based on 38 cents uh, of Aussie per share. And we have 13.8 million Australian dollar cash as of uh, the end of uh, March this year. According to our budget, we will have eight and a half million Australian dollars left by the end of September this year. So we are in a very good financial position to carry out all our field work as well as the project study. On the board, uh, myself, I'm a money engineer and uh, a founder of the company. I used to do a long-term planning engineer for Australian gold mining companies in West Australia. Uh, Mark Stradek is our executive director leading our project study as well as our field exploration programs. Both Mark and Francis Harper joined the company in mid 2017, at the time we converted the company from a private company to a public company in preparation for the IPO, which we did in January 2018. Also on our board is Dr. Paul Keaton. He used to be a general manager for exploration in West Africa for New Crest. Before that, Paul was a manager director for M Pillar, which defined the three million joker resource of gold in Burkina Faso. Mr. Han Jin Shi used to be an executive director for Sand God when Sand God was producing gold in China a few years ago. So we are really uh, has a very good uh, combination of board members. So I would like now uh, pass to our executive director, Mark Stradek, to talk about uh, uh, the details about the project and uh, some of the fiscal advantages of uh, investment into Ivory Coast. Sorry, Mark, you're on mute. Thanks, Kagan. And as uh, Kagan said, we've been growing resources very rapidly. And Cote d'Ivoire is a fantastic place to uh, explore. It's got 34% uh, you know, of the brilliant greenstones, which are a very prolific host rock. It's got very strong government support. 
There's 32, uh, over almost 33 tonnes of gold currently coming from five gold mines. And uh, the fiscal regimes are also very attractive for a company like uh, Tieto as we look to, with an eye ahead on development op op propositions. You know, a five-year corporate tax holiday, 25% uh, corporate tax, 4% government royalty. The infrastructure as well is a real standout in Cote d'Ivoire with uh, uh, very good sealed roads to Yamasukro. So the site is accessible by a tarred road, the last 20 k's or so on a, um, a form dirt road. Importantly, we're very close to uh, Delo, which is the third largest city in Cote d'Ivoire. That is also has a, a large power network as well. So the lower has a 90 kilovolt uh, ring main feeder there, and that's located around 30 kilometers away from the site. So a lot of that key infrastructure, as you look ahead to development propositions, uh, were well placed uh, in location wise and also country wise. It's a fantastic place to do business. We'll go to the next slide and we'll show you uh, where our projects lie. And uh, you'll see there that um, most of the resources come from the middle tenement. And um, you know, you can see here the Abajar Gold Project, there's three it's three tenements over 1,100 square kilometres. Importantly, 70 kilometres of strike length of mineralised corridor. We've currently got 45 million tonnes at 1.5 from 2.2 million ounces. What really gets us excited, and I'll bring your attention, is that high-grade core, 1.4 million ounces at 2.2, at what we call the AG, and you can see that high-grade high core on the left there. We also have another deposit called APG. It is low-grade, but it's only located about five kilometres away. Resource. So drilling down here on the AG uh, high grade core, 1.4 kilometres long, you can see there's some exceptional grade and thicknesses on the left hand side. And that's shown in the, t in the um, graphic there, which shows you those gram metre intercepts. And you can see there's those high grades, around about 700 metres or so of strike length, right at surface. When we look at the resource model there, that material is around about three and a half grams per tonne. This is a very large high grade system and it is growing. Our recent results, we can see there five metres at 17 from 376 was announced um, a couple of weeks ago. And this system is growing. Uh, uh, we have not been able to find the limits and we are busily working away trying to test the limits with our drill rigs. We'll show you the next slide and show you the APG resource. So APG is a low um, oxide resource. And, um, you know, it, it is uh, looked as a satellite mining opportunity. Hasn't it, it hasn't worked, Kagan? Yeah, so that's, this is a satellite mining opportunity. Uh, it currently has um, 350,000 ounces. And uh, the black boxes you can see are where we're currently doing extensional drilling. We've had some good results there, a bit higher than what we anticipated. 14 at 2.45 from 50 metres. So we see this shaping up as a uh, potential um, satellite mine opportunity. We'll just show you on the next slide. So the next slide gives you a bit of a, a helicopter view. Are you able to move that, Kagan? So this shows you where we're currently doing the drilling with the 50,000 metres. We've got the AG high grade core, and you can see that we've been growing that. Uh, we've got APG, we, as we talked about, as a potential oxide satellite operation, and AG South. Uh, this shows a, a, a pipeline of prospects that we're looking at um, post uh, our development of our resource um, uh, in September this year. And it really shows, this is from only the middle tenement, and we've got a portfolio of reconnaissance, target definition to target testing. So we'll be on the ground once our resource update is delivered in September for the next future growth of resources at Abidjan. On this next slide, just showing you the, um, the very fast uh, tempo we've been growing the resources from IPO in uh, January 2018, 700,000 ounces at 2.1, delivering 2.2 million ounces. And importantly, I'll bring your attention in November, we were able to expand our high grade, 1.4 million ounces at 2.2, and also managed to deliver 900,000 ounces of uh, indicated material. So we're expecting something to look forward to in September this year is that 50,000 metres beating that next resource growth. Next slide, Kagan. This is how we do it. Uh, we've got our own drill rigs and allows us to drill for you know, some of the cheapest rates in the industry. So uh, very low cost, 
uh, very high production rates and um, extremely high uh, quality core being delivered. Go to the next slide. And this shows you some of the metallurgical test work. Uh, we've been very pleased with this, been released this year in May. And you can see there some of the key points, very high gravity, high CIL, and very low energy index as comparable to other projects. So it's really setting AG up as a, uh, a very uh, simple, low cost uh, flow sheet. And uh, the work that we're doing here will be able to be um, input into our PFS, which is uh, due to kick off in uh, August this year. Next slide, please. One of the important things we've also been doing for the last two months is putting in line the long lead environmental items, working with uh, NBTEC, who work with people like in, at uh, Endeavour at the Edy Mine. We're currently doing the full range of uh, dry and uh, wet season baseline studies, and um, also uh, uh, studies of um, uh, villages and so forth. One of the great things about the AG resource is there is no large habitation on site, so we don't anticipate any um, any red flags coming from this. And the normal process in Cote d'Ivoire is around about six months. So some of the catalysts and the milestones coming up, uh, obviously we've got the resource uh, update coming up in September this year, kicking off that PFS. We've uh, recently applied for the mining license and that's around about a six month process in Cote d'Ivoire. As soon as we deliver that resource, uh, we'll be um, moving into drilling some of those, uh, those targets. You can see that pipeline the reconnaissance target definition. So uh, plenty of milestones to look forward to. That PFS delivered at uh, the end of uh, Q1 2021. And uh, in the meanwhile, lots and lots of exploration, drilling and use flow. So just closing, we'll bring you to the next slide. And really this just reiterates the points why uh, you know, Tieto is definitely um, some worthy of consideration. You know, 2.2 million ounces, uh, that's grown very rapidly. Uh, we're eight, we are uh, very well funded and um, you know, the key to reducing cash burn has been this, this very high impact, low cost drilling. The processing looks to be um, you know, some of the lowest cost, uh, you know, setting ourselves up as potentially a bottom quartile producer. And uh, you know, that'll all be um, able to be clarified in the upcoming uh, PFS. So definitely something to look forward to. And then meanwhile, you know, continuous news flow coming from our very aggressive exploration program. So look, thank you very much. And uh, we'd definitely like to talk to you at Minds of Money if you can uh, tee up a position.